Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is Neoberg, the map that we're playing through in relatively modern times, the modern era. So, um, well actually we're in uh, 2044, so it's futuristic now. Um, but yeah, I've just been looking at our port down here and we've got a bit of a situation with the um, waterline here. It needs to send a lot of stuff to Littlehampton West, but it just simply can't do that with the line that we've set up. So I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to remove this one. So then the line just goes straight through. Now hopefully that means that those will move up to the Littlehampton line that can actually support that and bring stuff over um so yeah i was just looking at this and figured that's one little uh, improvement that we can make to hopefully ensure that everything gets over this side and gets to where it needs to go we've got a hell of a lot of stuff still moving up to dover um truth be told i don't know whether the connection here is necessarily going to work. So we're getting some from down here and some from up here. But isn't that line all the same line? So why is it... How is it coming through down to here? And why is it sending out there? Is it this one? might be sending it through yeah possibly um but anyway um that's for another day to look at that lot and hopefully the larger train that we've put in for the dover line this train which is currently just waiting up here um when that comes back down it will move everything that's there uh, but also hopefully having the boat lines changed so that this one isn't taking everything down to this other port down here because that's literally all this this line does and it's actually been suffering for a little while because of that um, hopefully if it's got more numbers going through it it will um, boost it up a fair bit um, but yeah that's this area that we've we've changed things up down here with the uh, Swindon and the Ilkley connections so we're going to leave things alone just there for the time being. Um, most likely going to be uh, changing things up around here a little bit. Um, in fact, while we're at it, let's just have this stuff go straight up to the... Where is the residential zone? Ah, the residential zone is right there. We don't necessarily want it going straight through the residential zone. Um, but then again, this line does, doesn't it? So what's really the difference uh, there isn't a great deal except this one would be going directly up here so let's do that let's have that go up here and then hopefully that will ensure that it goes onto this train line and gets to where it needs to go whether it be down here or anywhere else so we put this line in last time. We didn't actually put the vehicles on. I'm glad I checked it now. Um, oh, I thought we had... Where is our... Ah, there we are in Alford. Okay, that's fine. We'll put them on that line. It'll take them a little while to get there, but... That's absolutely fine. This is cargo, road, grain, number something. And this is up near Ilkley. There we go. How many of these are there? There are seven. Oh, actually, there's another one. 
So that's number eight. And this one's number nine. There we go. Let's just make them the right color. So where's that one? Sorry, this one. Ah, right, that's literally just coming down from up here. That is going to... Oh, wow, it's going all the way across the map. There and there now. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, these uh, train lines can be a little bit few and far between. Um, we're probably going to need to keep an eye on things because we don't want it all to um, not get to where it needs to go like this line not being able to cope we might need to swap this for one of these with some of this something like that 334 meters should fit on this train line hopefully train station oh I don't know about this one is this 300 meters it's daft that the only way we can check this is yeah that's 300 meters that's 300 meters okay that needs to be shortened then Probably to like there, that should be fine. And then that fits in. So we now have a larger vehicle um, doing that. And hopefully it should ensure this stuff gets to where it needs to go. It's mostly down to the machines factory. So that's all right. Um, so yeah. What we need to do is connect in this area to the train line here. So what I would like to do is, number one, uh, expand this a little bit so that it's got another platform on this side. So this one will be going to that other station. And then the other line that we have here can go to like the machines and goods factories and what have you so if we connect this in we'll need a train line to go I don't know whether we'll be able to go over the top because we've got this here if we were to go over the top Will this connect in? So it needs to go in this direction. Too much slope. Too much curvature. That somehow works although it doesn't here. Okay. Um, can we go underneath maybe all of this? It's going to be a tight fit. But we might be able to do it. Uh, too much slope. Does it actually go down far enough for us to then not affect train lines through this area? 
So this is more or less what we would be wanting to do is cut through over here and then we just need to most probably use that new train line that we used or created even. Hopefully that should work quite well. And then this will provide a connection through for whatever it is that we're taking down that way. Um, whether it be crude oil or uh, goods it can all connect through this line bridge pillar conversion oh, really why is the stop causing a bridge pillar collision that's a little bit of a new one on me let's just try and remove the stops here then where did it go? There. Yeah, bridge pillar collision. How weird. around here considering it's quite a slow area oh actually the train track has not connected up there there we go so if we do a crossover this should then provide us with a connection into this line and hopefully make good use of it So that one would be number six, and it can use number five as well. This one would be number two, and then using number one as well. And they're literally going to be. Um, taking anything from here that it can. It's a little bit tricky actually because we don't have a depot that we can easily use to connect these in. Um, even on this side like it's Extremely high up. What if we <laughs> uh, lower it? Well, that works. <laughs> it's not the prettiest of things. In fact, let's try. Uh, I would smooth it, but I don't want to waste money. Um, <laughs> basically. So we're going to need one of each. We might as well start out with the series and see how it goes. Because it might be that certain things are more popular than others. I don't know whether we should put a gondola line in or whether we should because the only thing that would be going down that way for a gondola, surely, would be to bring stone down here. But I think if we connect this in to this station, 
that probably be better because then we can um, use the gondola there. So we'll basically have like a connection here and a connection here into the point here. So I don't think a gondola one's needed. Do a series and do a boxcar. And then a series and do the side sticks. So that connects in this end of one of the busiest um, areas up here for connections. Um, because to be honest with you, this does see quite a lot of movement of stuff and also it goes down to here where there's also a lot of loading and unloading of stuff. In fact, we need to connect this up again here and we might as well connect this through here I'll leave it for now but we will connect that up there So then hopefully that's connected. Hmm. Yeah, it hasn't. So now this can unload down here, whereas before it wasn't able to. And hopefully that will bring a lot more through here for this train station, for this um, station here. Just to double check, are these taking everything? Yes. Let's just double check these ones. No. I know they're f say fuel, but they're just old lines, really. Uh, so, do we need a side stake car for this one? don't know whether we do actually oh we do need to bring bricks through for these two cities and also these one this one wants bricks so I suppose that's fine um, cool okay that's connected up this side which was before not really connected up Number something, it's down at Kesgrave. What number is this? This is number eight. There we go. Oh, we actually have a temporary line here. Yeah, so that's just. Um, <laughs> taking ore over there. Uh, nothing else really being used by it. But that's fine. We'll work that out eventually. Um, 
Right. So, if we have a connection here, uh, tell you what, I want to make sure that things are going to up this way. So that's connected in there. We have a boxcar here, don't we? Which could take plastic up that way. So we might, have had, might as well have plastic delivered down here. So it's just there. Right, so we have a connection for this down to here and for this down to here, there. Um, actually, it's also picking up goods and dropping them off here. I, didn't, I forgot about that bit. Um, do we really need that? Like, how many... Goods have been brought over here. It's a very busy station for food. It's still sending us um, food over here. We should probably re distribute this down to here um, just because it's a much better station for it to connect into so if we Yeah, I know that Kesgrave at least needs two, but it may be needing more by now. No, two should be fine. So we'll set up two here. Slightly off, um, but it should be fine. Exit, exit, entry. And then we just do a road here that connects in here, like so, and it can go around as well, quite nicely. sudden we can connect this in so if we just go ahead and connect that there connect that there so they're going to take different routes in and out of the city but generally they use this road here so we need to upgrade this stretch I don't know whether we can actually that's a bit of a pain. Um,
Stephen connecting. This down here, create that road. That takes a good road through. So we'll just do that. All of a sudden, it's a lot uh, easier for that to get in. And probably the same for this line as well. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Cool. Okay, so we just need to move those vehicles over from there. Ah, uh, there's only three of them. Let's move those three onto that line and then we'll get three more. Do we have a road depot around here somewhere? Is that the road depot? No, that's not a road depot. We've got road depot down here, but it's not got a way through. We should probably put a road through so that it connects up Ilkston to um, Kesgrave a little bit better. Uh, hmm. Where's a road depot around here? I could have sworn that we had one. Is this the nearest road depot? Must be. Oh no, there's one. So we'll just get three of these. Pop them on that line. And then this other line can go away. So <clears throat> let's just double check these lines. So this would be using number two. It will be filling up and it will be waiting for 30 seconds. That will be loading these. And then this one can go to number four. It will be filling up. It will load for 30 seconds and it will be loading these. There we go. So then we have two lines going into um, Nesborough up here rather than one. Let's just upgrade that road because it uses it through. And hopefully we will make some good use out of this line connecting through as well. Um, cool. So that connects up that section. We could put a, a line up here for the plastic and then that would take plastic down to here where it could then come through by train. Um, I don't know whether it might be better to have almost like a more direct route for the plastic line. So let's just call these what they are. Um, we don't, we've just deleted the, the name, never mind. So this is cargo road number something at, uh, no. <laughs> Let's just copy the name. Nesbara. And then this would be the second one. Um, so how many are there? Road cargo lines. I bet there's quite a few. 43 now. Didn't we have one already set up for Nesbara though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, I'm not seeing it. 
where it would have been. Which is a bit of a shame, but kind of not unexpected. So we'll make that number 44. And number 45. There we go. So that's all set up here. So that should bring through cargo from this point rather than down here. So that relieves this water a little bit for the um, crude line, which to be fair, isn't really needed. Um, it doesn't need to pick up any crude here anymore. We just need it to take a wheel through. Um, I mean, if we had a train line through, how could we connect it up? Hmm. We could connect it from here, so they have this go straight through. So where we've got the connection here, this is going to be really tricky with all these trees. <laughs> um, where we've got the connection here, have it go as a pass through rather than a, sorry trees, can you get out of the way? Rather than what we've got, currently has. So then that would come up to a train station up this point and that would need to take both boxcar and um, oil. So we could probably do that, to be fair. Like, there's nothing stopping us from connecting this in a little bit more creatively. And then we don't need to do Oh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I was wondering there. Um, right, so if we did a connection through here, so it would be going down. Doesn't even need to go down too steeply, to be fair. just need to be able to uh, see these and then that should be sorted there might need to remove those stops though all 
I really wish there was an easier way to work with tunnels here. Uh, this is um, a little bit tricky. So we'll connect that up over here, like so. Just have this one go back. Right, it's there. There we go. Right, so signals wise, we would need a stop there, 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 and there. And then we just continue in through on this side up to here. Like so. So then all of a sudden, this line that was just doing <laughs> that can now go through up to here and drop off oil. So that's quite a big change. Um, also, we can take out that through line, or the crossover I should say, because the boxcar line can now go through here and up <clears throat> to the same station. So you want to use number one, drop off number two, and then you want to use number one, drop off number two. So basically it will be providing plastic up that way. We can take out that, it's no longer needed. <clears throat> and then trains can just go straight through. Very nice. Quite an interesting little line there now with that connection down here. I don't normally um, put in um, connections like that because it can interfere. I don't know what's going on here. Um, can interfere if you have uh, a lot of trains going through, but considering it's only for these, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, we've got the gondola line which goes straight through as well. So that should be a really interesting little station down here at uh, Nairsborough. And hopefully it will connect up the um, oil and the plastic a lot better than before. So yeah. I think I'm going to leave that one there. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a good one. Bye.